الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد فالوئنگ دی آتھینٹک حدیث اینڈ ٹو لیو آف ایوری اسٹیٹمنٹ دیٹ اپوز از اٹ دس واز اے بینیفٹ فرام آر برادر ٹرانسلیٹڈ بائی آر برادر عباس ابو یحیٰ حافظ اللہ تعالی فرام یحیٰ بن سعید القحطان ہو ڈائڈ ان ون نائنٹی ہجری ہو سیڈ ڈو ناٹ لک ایٹ دا حدیث But look at the isnad to see if the isnad is sahih. The isnad meaning the chain of narration. Otherwise, do not be deceived by the hadith if the isnad is not authentic. From Umar ibn Abdulaziz, rahimahullah ta'ala, that he wrote to some people. No one can have an opinion against the sunnah which was established by the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. From Malik ibn Anas From Malik ibn Anas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu who said Everyone's statement can be taken or left except for the inmate of this grave sallallahu alayhi wa sallam meaning the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as he was teaching in the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's masjid And from Uthman radiyallahu ta'ala anhu who said A man came to Malik and asked him about an issue. So Malik said to him, The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said such and such. The man said to him, Do you hold that view? Imam Malik said, And let those who oppose the Messenger's command, meaning his sunnah, amongst the sects, be, beware lest some fitna befall them or a painful torment be inflicted on them. This shows us the importance of holding on to the sunnah and making the Prophet sallallahu statement utmost, meaning we prefer his statement over any other statement. We do not put forth our opinions when it comes to uh, the statements of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. From Malik ibn Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said, The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam established sunan. Following them is following the book of Allah. And it is completion of obedience to Allah and strength upon the deen of Allah. It is not permissible for anyone to change it nor to look into that which opposes the sunnah. Whoever seeks guidance by it, then he is guided. From Yahya ibn Yahya at-Tamimi Rahimahullah Ta'ala who said, I heard Abu Yusuf saying, Everything that I have given a verdict about, then indeed I take it back except for that which is in agreement with the book and the sunnah. From Rabi' who said, I heard a Shafi'i saying, If you find in my book that which opposes the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then take the sunnah and leave that which I said. From Malik ibn Anas, rahimahullah ta'ala, who said, Indeed, I am a human. I can make mistakes, and I can be correct. So look into my opinion. Everything that is in agreement with the book and the sunnah, then take it. And everything that does not agree with the book and the sunnah, then leave it. From Sufyan, who said, rahimahullah ta'ala, look, uh, Learn a lot of hadith, Indeed, they are weapons. Abu Hassan al-Shabawihi said, Whoever wants knowledge about the grave, then he should adhere to the athar, meaning the narrations. And whoever wants knowledge of bread, then he should adhere to opinions. So follow opinions if you want worldly knowledge. But if you want Beneficial knowledge, علم النافية, that which has to do with your, your hereafter, then you need to learn the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. And I ask Allah the Almighty for the good in this life as well as the hereafter. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with علم نافية, رزق طيب وعمل المتقبل, and bless us with ikhlas, with the bad ala sunnah. And anything that I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything that was a mistake was from myself and the shaitan.